Prana. Do I have another Bennett coming, Connor? What was that? Can you hear me? Yes. I said, do I have another Bennett coming? You do. Awesome. <laughs> Which one? Connor. Connor, Connor. Bennett. Yep. <laughs> Spaced them perfectly apart. I don't even get a chance to miss Ethan. <laughs> You'll be able to tell their brothers. They look a lot alike. Well, somewhat. Okay. So you do you know about the sixth grade one next week, right? Yes, this yes. is for all parents, right? This is for all parents, yeah. Yeah. But the one next week you can invite Connor to and um, his new teachers, his, the sixth grade teachers will be online on that one too. Oh, okay, cool. So. I will put that on my calendar. Yeah, 6.30 on Monday. All of the sixth grade teachers will be joining us. So. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Thanks. No problem. Well, there's a face I haven't seen in a couple of years. <laughs> Hi, Kenny. Hi, how are you? Excited to get Tucker and Tanner back. Oh, stop it right now. <laughs> no, I am. I am. I looked at that list and I was like, wow, Tucker and Tanner, finally in middle school. Oh, I know. So, remember little, yeah. They grow up fast, don't they? Oh, they sure do. Ugh. Um, I was just telling uh, Connor that next week on Monday, we'll have a specific for sixth grade meeting like this. Okay. Sixth grade teachers will be online. So um, they'll get a chance. And, and the kids can be on that too with you. Okay. So they have questions. They can ask. And we'll all be there to answer them and then they can meet all their new teachers. Oh, perfect. So that's the goal. Okay, let's see. Turn on, turn on, turn on. It's kind of, yeah. Do you, do you need me? No. I just thought I heard my I need to hurt. No, she's on vacation. Oh. She'll be back to the next one. Okay. Okay, um, before we get started, I'm just reminding everybody that this session is being recorded. So you are now officially internet stars. I hope you like your fame and fortune. Um, and I want a percentage of any money that you make off of this recording. It'll go to school to improve things and make us wonderful. Um, but yes, we are being recorded. And if you could mute your question, mute your microphones and um, ask questions, um, last meeting, I'm just going to do a quick brief on what I shared last meeting in case you guys missed it. Um, I just wanted to share with you a couple of things about our website. Hopefully everyone can see my the website, right? Yes, Tammy, thumbs up. Yes, okay. Um, so just to let you guys know on the website, you will see down here at the bottom where it says subscribe. If you put in your email into that subscribe box, uh, the website will automatically send you updates every time it gets updated. And that's a good way to stay in touch and find out what's going on. The other way is through text messages. If you click on here in this link, it'll come up with um, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade text groups. Just sign up for the group that you are at and um, you'll get text messages from us. And then a couple that I forgot to point out last time. Uh, we've put together, if I can open it here, a list of Google Classroom and Zoom. 
things for students and parents. So if your child is getting excited or nervous about Google or Zoom and being able to um, manipulate in those environments, the teachers will do training the first few days of school. Um, but these are some links that if you want to go to them in advance, there's some tutorial videos to help kids become more familiar with Google Classroom and Google Zoom, uh, not Google Zoom, Zoom. So um, they're, they're meant for students, so they're very student friendly in, in how they explain things. Um, and there's actually even one there for parents, so parents can understand Google Classroom and how to find grades and things like that and check up on your kids' work and stuff like that. So I wanted to sh make sure that I brought that to your guys' attention. Distance learning schedule we kind of looked at last week. It's on here too. Um, so you'll know what's being taught when. And let me see, what else is on here? Text messages, school supply list. Oh, I'll go with this one. Um, if you ever need to communicate with this parent, uh, not parent, uh, the school, if you have a question, you have a concern, you want to know how to get information from the school, here is our ways we communicate. And um, my email is on here, as is Eric's, as is Ryan Chambers. And lastly, we have a link down here where we have all the emails and phone extensions for all of our staff members. So they are on here. Oh, I need to add that. I need to update that because we've hired someone for that position. So I think that's like everything uh, on the website. Home access. Home access is going to be a huge thing to um, check schedules to check grades. So there's a directions how to use it. And then there's a link here for the um, home access. So I think that's it. So the rest of the time, I'm just here to answer any questions that you guys have. Um, please, anything you want to know, I, I assume that most people know that the biggest change in the last 24 hours is that due to everything that's going on in Lane County in the last 24 hours or 48 hours, um, we have pushed back the start of school. So the first day of school will now be September 22nd and not September 15th. Um, that is, will give us more, um, more time to do the Chromebooks um, checkout, which has to happen next week. We have to get Chromebooks checked out to everybody before we can start online school. Um, and it gives us, uh, I don't know, time to accommodate kid, our families who are still without power, uh, are not necessarily just our families, but the entire Lane County community that is suffering because of these wildfires and things that we can do to help out and support our fellow schools and school districts. Um, so just based on all of that, the, um, Mr. Carpenter made a decision, which I completely agree with, which is to push back the beginning of school. So we'll start on the 22nd, um, and it should be a fabulous, should still be a fabulous school year. Um, so questions? Okay, my child has a personal Zoom account. Can he use that, or does he need to sign up? using his district email address as well. Okay, I'm not 100% sure on this one, Toy. Um, I know that he has to access the Zoom. So when they get into Google Classroom, they'll be posting the link to the Zoom meeting. But I don't necessarily think that the kids are gonna have Zoom accounts and there's no reason I can think of why he couldn't use his own personal Zoom account um, but I will check that out, and I will email you the answer so that you and Liam know what's going on. So, um, Tammy, can you write that one down, and we'll get it to ba Mr. Bateman and see what he says. Yeah, we'll get back to you on that one. Good question. Anybody else have any questions? Hopefully not quite so much of a puzzle. Something maybe I can answer next this time. <laughs>
Any other questions? This is going to be a very, very short meeting. Oh, I'm going to ramble a whole bunch. Um, and I can do that. I hope everybody is well, that everybody has power. If you don't have power, um, please take advantage of the high school and come in and use the high school to charge your phones and charge your devices and take a shower. I know um, I was one of the one of the houses that had lost power for like three or four days last year, the year before, and I desperately wanted a hot shower. Um, so I think the high school offering um, hot shower, electricity, heat, all those things is amazing. So I hope families can take care of it. What is PE going to look like this year? Uh, PE is going to be just like every other class. It's going to be a live Zoom meeting. And they may include some recorded videos, um, uh, just like every other class. Um, but there will be a teacher online. Um, seventh and eighth grade will have uh, Mr. Newman. He's our new PE teacher. Uh, he comes to us from Gilboy, California, where he was a high school football coach and a high school PE teacher. And the interesting thing about Mr. Newman is that he, um, the, from coming from California, they actually had to do online classes for about half the year last year as well. So he has tons of ideas of how to do PE online and is very excited about the challenge of um, moving forward with PE and has been a great kind of a reverse mentor to Mrs. McBride. So Mrs. McBride knows our school very well. Mr. Newman knows distance learning very well and they've been helping each other and supporting each other. So um, I'm looking forward to what they're doing and what they'll be doing with kids in PE. Band, um, band, yeah, we, we could not fit. We had, to begin with in band, we had a, a very small um, number of kids sign up for band two and band three. So um, make, fitting that into our cohort schedule was problematic. And really, in, in, no matter how hard we tried, um, we weren't able to make it happen. So um, Lauren Purcell Joyner is our new band teacher, and she is going to be contacting our band two and band three students to talk about uh, Zoom classes, individual classes, individual sessions. And if our band two and band three students don't have their own instruments, um, we're going to waive the tr mental charge on music instruments this year. So, and she also has a good background in video and teaching distance learning and um, putting together productions and stuff. And she's looking forward to doing um, band concerts with the kids um, and just putting together production videos and stuff like that. So you'll be hearing from her, uh, my guess is in the next week or so. So other questions? Let me see. Mr. Carmen, do you have anything else you can add to? No, um, no, not really. I mean, <laughs> we're just moving along. I, we're just making constant adjust, adjustments, you know, and, and uh, I'm, I'm real happy that you guys came to, to ask questions and things, but um, yeah, we're just moving along. So I've, I've talked a little bit about Mr. Newman. He's our new PE teacher. Um, uh, Lauren Purcell Joyner is our new music teacher. And um, we have a new language art seventh grade teacher. Mrs. Bennett is taking the year to um, be a mom. She had a beautiful baby boy over the summer and he is growing and growing and growing. Um, and she is going to be home with him this year. So we have uh, Lauren Allen, and who taught for eight years in Portland and then did three years in New York and is amazing and fantastic and has hit the ground running. Um, and then we will have long-term subs. Ms. Pizzola also had a baby this summer and she's staying home for a few months with her new baby. Um, and Mike Larson is going to sub for her. And Mr. Light is staying home with his kids for a couple of months. And we have a gentleman named Matt Crin who is going to come um, sub for him. All of our, we, we lucked with all of our subs, our long-term subs. Um, 
they're amazing. They're strong candidates. They are highly experienced and are going to be fantastic additions to our staff. So we're excited, actually. Um, we had another year of just hiring great people, I think. Last year, we lucked out with Mrs. Honstein and Mrs. Larson and Mr. Rundra. And this year, um, equally with Mr. Newman, uh, with our two Lawrence and our um, Mike and Matt, our long-term subs. So um, new faces, but really quality teachers. So um, I think. Any other questions? There has to be questions. What else can I tell you? Oh, schedules are in home access. Um, and uh, if you can't access home access, we have hard copies here in the office. You're welcome to stop by and pick up. Um, no schedule changes this year because of cohorting and, and restrictions and size limits and stuff like that. But everybody has the same classes, um, and um, we have the same teachers for the most part. So um, that's that. We have a ton of yearbooks still at the desk. So if your child ordered a yearbook last year and you haven't picked it up, it's here. I think we were counting today, and we have like 70 yearbooks that haven't been picked up yet. So um, if you know other parents of Fern Ridge Middle School students who haven't picked up their yearbook, uh, oh, uh, what will PE look like at home? I was just talking about that a little while ago, Jessica. Hi, Jessica. Um, PE at home is going to be really good. It'll be a live Zoom class, um, and Mr. Newman and Mrs. McBride are working um, really hard on doing fun things for the kids. I think the focus is going to be a little bit more on wellness and nutrition than it's been, but there'll be some exercise and some movement as well. So... Um, you can um, come pick up a yearbook anytime the office is open, which is generally speaking eight to three. Um, the office will this year be open eight to three Tuesday and Tuesday through Friday, and it will open at ten forty five, right, Tammy, or ten ten forty five on Mondays till three o'clock. Um, our office, our Mondays are our teacher work days this year. And so we're starting every Monday morning a staff meeting, and we would very much like to include our secretaries in those staff meetings. So we're going to close the office till 1045 so our, our secretaries can join in in whatever our staff is doing because they're an integral, integral part of our staff. We could not do our school without them. And I'm not saying that just because Tammy's online here and listening to every word I say. So, um, but because it's true. Okay, any other questions? Uh, yes, we still have planners. And there is, now that we've not starting until the 22nd, there's plenty of time to purchase a planner. Um, please come in and purchase them. They're $5 each. We have plenty of them. So, plenty. As in, you can buy them for Christmas gifts and give them to family members if you like. We, we, we bought a lot this year um, and because we've always been short the last couple of years and um, because we've always grown in our enrollment. And this year our enrollment is down and we didn't know back in spring that our enrollment would go down. So we do have a lot of planners this year. So. Any other questions? I think I can't really think of, you know, um, I, I think we're, it's going to be a different, but good school year. Um, and I hope you'll be happy. Um, we talked a little bit about attendance this week with, with teachers and yes, they will have uh, in distance learning. We'll be taking attendance every period. Um, we had a um, fantastic idea from this group last year, last week, um, the parents who attended, we had a, a, a suggestion that we figure out some way to notify parents quicker if students were not participating in the online Zoom classes and where Mr. Carmen and I and Mr. Chambers are going to be working on that in the next couple of, no, next couple of days and we will be making 
uh, communicating with families about attendance a priority so that we can get those kids into those Zoom classes and attending um, and help families make sure their kids are on track. Right, Mr. Carmen? Yes, and, there, and this uh, isn't like a punitive thing. It really is with the understanding that there are going to, at the beginning of this, um, this little experiment that we're doing with uh, distance learning, there's going to be a lot of glitches and there are going to be a lot of uh, issues that are going to come up that, um, that we haven't seen or dealt with yet that uh, with, with different families and homes and things. So we are going to, we anticipate spending a lot of time um, just working with families to get all their children connected and everything. So. Um, yeah. uh, let's see. Um, next week is the Chromebook checkout, and that's going to happen at the high school. And a uh, schedule is going to be out on the um, main website. If it's not already there, um, it will be soon. The if you're when they go check out the Chromebooks, they will give you your um, child's email address, their username, and the password. If you aren't getting a Chromebook, if you already have your own lap laptop or um, Chromebook or something, and you weren't going to borrow one from the school district, then call us and we will give you your child's user ID and password. They are all going to be reset uh, sometime in the next couple of days. So wait till about mid next week and call us and we'll give it to you um, over the phone if you're if you don't get it at the Chromebook checkout. So yeah, it's the password. They're gonna reset the passwords for every child's Google account across the district. Um, and so they'll all be new. Um, and those who, who go through the Chromebook checkout, you will get it. But if you don't go through Chromebook checkout, just call us and we'll be happy to give it to you over the phone. No problems. So. Any other questions? The high school said they are required. Uh, no, they are not required to have a high school Chromebook. The high school is requiring the Chromebooks because when they come back into hybrid, um, the high school will be using the Chromebooks in the school. And we're at this point, that is not going to happen at the middle school. It probably will happen some point this year um, where we have kids have Chromebooks in the school. Um, and we have enough, but at this time, we don't have enough Chromebooks for every school, every student in the middle school to have a Chromebook. So um, it's the goal, but it's not going to happen immediately. So if your child has a laptop or some other device, they are welcome to use it for distance learning. Okay. Any other questions? Uh, did we find out if we need cameras? Oh, you mean for like Zoom? Yeah, you should, you should have a, how do I say this? Um, optimal, yes, please have a device that has a camera. If you don't, um, we probably will be able to work around that. But if you have, but if you don't have a device that has a camera, I would, I would actually go get a Chromebook um, and, and get a, a Chromebook from the district. There's going to be a lot of times that, kids will want to interact with their teachers and their friends, not only in their classes, but in some of the Zoom activities that we're planning. Um, and we have uh, teachers talking about doing Zoom clubs at lunch, um, you know, talking about different topics that kids are interested in, like anime and stuff like that. So there's going to be a lot of opportunity for social interaction, not just um, academic interaction. And I would think for some of that social interaction, having a device with a camera um, would be something a kid would want. So, do sixth grade students already have Google email addresses from last year? I was told they did, and that most of the kids know them or should know them. If that's not true for your sixth grade student, um, just call us. When, when you call for the password, we'll give you the user ID and all of it. It's, you know, we can, it's not that, that hard for us to do. We'd be happy to do it and get that set up. So any other questions? Is everybody excited about the beginning of the school year? Ready for the beginning of the school year? Nervous? 
you know? I mean, I, I'd be interested in knowing from a parent point of view what you think the biggest issues are going to be in engaging your kids. Um, because if we can help you on your end and you can help us on our end, we can work together to make this distance learning thing even more successful. So if, if you've got a roadblock or a barrier or something that's, that's you're concerned about, I have an amazing counselor in Ryan Chambers. I have an amazing assistant principal in Mr. Carmen. And um, I don't do that bad a job myself. And we can team and work and figure things out and help support you. Um, you know, maybe some incentives, things like that. We're here to help. Oh. Yeah, Google email address is listed on Home Access as well. So, yes. Other questions? Let's see. It's been really quiet. Um, let me think. What else can I tell you guys? If I was you, what would I want to know? Oh, yeah, that's a big one. Thanks, Callie. Um, next, I mentioned this to a couple of people as we were as people were um, coming in. Next Monday at six thirty, we are going to have a special sixth grade, kind of a sixth grade orientation, kind of a Q and A, kind of a sixth grade event, kind of a fifth grade fly up, a little bit differently. Um, we're going to have a special um, Google Meet session where all the sixth grade teachers are going to be there. And we're inviting all of the sixth grade students and their parents and get a chance to meet your teacher, ask any questions that they have, um, just say hi to their teacher. It doesn't matter. We just want teachers and, and our sixth graders to have that chance to start connecting with each other. And we know that they have a lot of questions and we know that they're nervous about middle school. Um, every year they're nervous about middle school and this year especially so, right? Um, so we wanted them to have a chance to kind of ask those questions that they might have and meet their teachers and then for parents to be involved as well. So the information for the link is on the website um, and you are welcome it is going to be Monday at 6.30. We had originally planned to do it uh, tomorrow, but with everything going on, we postponed it till Monday. So, um, so you can go right here, there's the link. Um, if your child has questions, if they just wanna stop by and say hi, they're welcome to come. It would be great to see them, so. Any other questions? I don't think. We talked about schedules. We talked about, oh, um, do I plan to have another one? So, do I plan to have another one of these, con these meetings next week? Are they helpful? I mean, I can, that's not a problem. We absolutely can. Um, and maybe if parents will, if, if we think, if you think parents are gonna still have questions, I would, as much as whatever I can do to make sure parents have the information that they need, I would be happy to do. And um, another meeting like this would be completely doable. Um, and maybe I'll, I'll plan to have another one because I know that there are, there are, families here tonight for this meeting that weren't here last week. And I would imagine there might even be more families next week. So whatever we can do to communicate with families, we will. So I'll call it. Let's go ahead and plan on having another one of these next week. So Cammie, put it on my schedule. Um, thank you. So let's see. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, and while I'm talking at some point here, we'll be talking about site council parents and parents to be on um, um, site council to help us with school decisions. We'll be doing that in a couple of weeks. Um, 
I had something I was going to say. Let's see, talked about this, this, this. Schedules, attendance. The Google Classrooms. Um, so the Google Classrooms um, invites will be going out by from teachers to the students uh, at the end of next week. We are also going to send every fa every family an email through your teachers that will list the Google Classroom codes for your grade level. So your child's going to get individual invites from their teachers and then um, we're going to try to send to the families one sheet that has all the codes on it for that grade level so that if you uh, if your child forgets the code or something like that you have it as a backup so um, we are not doing the daily homework blog this year because the daily homework will be in the google classrooms so uh, Yeah. If you have a, if, 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 if you're not familiar with Google Classroom and Google Training, some of those videos that I showed you links to are really helpful. And I know the kids are nervous. Um, I know that the teachers are going to do a good job training them. But from my own experience as a kid and from being a principal all these years, kids like to know in advance. You know, that they'd like to, to know when they go into a classroom kind of what to expect. And so if you have even 20 minutes to go over one of those videos in the next week and a half before school starts with your kid, it's going to make them feel that much conf more confident and that much more ready to face that first Zoom class. So, um, and, you know, they're 10, 15 minute videos at the most and really well done. Just basic YouTube videos. Um, anything else? Okay, I'm going to wait just a minute. I could show you pictures of my nephew. He's so adorable. 18 months old now. It just seems like yesterday he was born. Um, okay. I think that's it. I don't see any other questions popping up on Google, I mean, on the um, chat. So again, we'll be doing this for sixth grade families on Monday with teachers. And we'll do this again next week. If you have questions, absolutely come back next week at 430. If you have questions in the middle of the week or just email, call. Um, so. We're here to answer your questions. We know this is new. One thing I want to say, and, and Mr. Carmen alluded to it a little bit, is teachers have been working really hard. Um, staff have been working really hard. But this is uncharted territory for all of us. Um, and so we know going into this that there's going to be glitches and there's going to be issues and there might be little problems here and there. You're patient with us, we'll be patient with you, and we can all get through this together and make this real successful. Um, just if, if there's a problem those first few days as you get in online and stuff like that, call us so we can help. Let your teachers know if there's a problem, if you have a connectivity issue or you don't have the right something or another or your kid's struggling to understand something. Uh, communication between home and school is going to be really important this year. So um, we need to kind of talk to each other to help each other and support each other through this. So if you have questions, you have concerns, um, we ask you to be patient, but we also ask you to let us know what's going on and where you're struggling and we can help. So um, I think that's it. Mr. Carmen, anything you'd like to say? And uh, not that we haven't covered already. I think we're good to go. I think that as we get closer, um, and uh, there, there are definitely going to be more questions and and uh, yeah. more things that we need to clarify. But I think we're yeah. I think we've covered everything so huh. far. Okay. Huh. Um. Just um. Again, the website. Subscribing to it. Uh. 
subscribing to the text messages, checking the website. That's where we post a lot of information. It's our primary way of communicating with families. Um, and I think if you have questions, anytime, just give us a call, send us an email. We're here to help. So I think that's it. Guys, have a great Wednesday evening. Uh, let's hope the smoke and the fires get better and positive thoughts for everyone who's suffering uh, because of the wildfires. So, thank you.